As we have learned, every environment has a maximum number of individuals it can sustain, called the carrying capacity. It's important to understand the use of the word sustain, because populations can grow over the carrying capacity, but the environment will not be able to support these large numbers over time, because the resources will be used up a lot faster than they can be renewed again. So another way to think of carrying capacity is the point at which the rate of resource use is equal to resource renewal. So carrying capacities aren't set because it is tied to resource availability. So any factors that change resource supply will cause a shift to the carrying capacity. And variables that limit resources and thus limit population growth are called limiting factors. And these are discussed in more detail in the next video. Here's a basic example of how the carrying capacity might change. A population of deer is happily living in an area with plenty of resources. Let's oversimplify and say that all they need is grass, and they have a lot of it, so they're happy. And so this population grows exponentially. So it starts down here, it grows kind of slow, but then there's a lot of grass, and they rapidly reproduce, and it shoots up like that. At first, it's all good. But sooner or later, this population starts to grow out of control because the birth rate is a lot higher than the death rate. So it'll keep growing exp exponentially and grow beyond the carrying capacity. And when it does that, it is said to have overshot. So the population of deer is overshooting. And f there's still enough grass in the beginning. But very soon, the grass begins to thin from overgrazing and a lot of trampling. And that's when it becomes a really serious problem. Because now, as the grass gets thinner and thinner, food competition is greater. And as deer, more and more deer can't find food, they start to die from competition and from starvation. So the deer population begins to drop. But it doesn't just return back to the original carrying capacity level because now there's a new carrying capacity and it plummets down to this new carrying capacity and starts to fluctuate around here. Why is there this new carrying capacity? That's because there's so much damage that has been done to the grass by the deer from overgrazing that there is not the same amount of grass anymore as before. So this carrying capacity is rendered obsolete and there's a new carrying capacity to reflect the new amount of grass. Over time, the grass can rejuvenate and the carrying capacity will be restored. However, this does take a lot of time and during that time, the deer population is best to just stay down here and fluctuate around this new carrying capacity. Otherwise, it risks the consequences of overshooting once again.